feast where large throngs of people invaded the school campus to partake in food and drink. Including turkeys harvested by the students during work projects. And let's just perform, uh, perform a Dungeons and Dragons themed theater production to talk about that. The, Thor's, uh, the show's lead actor, Oscar Ross, everybody. Hello, yes. So you were the star of the show? Lead actor, not star. Anyways, was this your first time on, on stage? Um, you know, it, it kind of was. Yeah. Uh, I did a small thing at my school before I came here. But yeah, more or less it was. So, how did it feel performing in front of the extended community? Well, everyone was really nervous about it, but I tried to be positive. And in the end, we did pretty well, except for some mistakes that hopefully nobody noticed. Were there any funny moments backstage that you could tell our loyal viewers about? Um, yeah, so there was this one time where, um, someone, like, forgot their sword on stage, and then was behind stage and yelled, God damn it, where's my sword? <laughs> right before they were supposed to go on. That's pretty great. The show was set in the, in the 90s. Did you ever have any trouble with the pop culture references to that area? Well, see, there was one part in the play where this guy talks about his internet, and he's like, dude, I have top of the line. 75 gigabits, and none of us knew what that was, you know, because, yeah, gigabits, like, what's gigabit? Anyway, uh, so that was kind of the thing that we didn't really know much about, but our teacher explained it. And on that note, Oscar Ross, everybody! Should I clap, or should I not clap? You should. I clap. Okay, All right. good whatever. Job. <laughs> In other news, we had our winter celebration, an event where the community draws names from a hat and makes a gift for the person they drew. I gave Jake a mallet and got a book from, uh, from Nathaniel. Eli, what did you get and give? I gave on a handmade journal and received a wooden sword. And that wraps up our news from our hiatus. We have now returned from winter break and are gearing up for our 18 days trip. Here to talk about that, Ezzy Maldonado. Come on up, Ezzy. So, how are you liking your core class so far? Good. I'm in philosophy with Rebecca, and we've been learning and asking questions, philosophy questions. Awesome. And are you excited for 18 days? I know I am. There was this one time where another student... Uh, and I shared a canister of whipped cream on the drive to Atlanta. Another time where, I, uh, where Ian and Red Autumn and I... Eli, uh, uh, let them answer the question. Okay. okay. Yes, I am very much excited for 18 days. I've heard a lot about it. Good. Um, any idea where you will buy, what you will buy on vending stops? Uh, probably just junk, but yeah. That was Essie Maldonado, everybody! In order to have money for trips, we are hosting a fundraiser in the first week of February called Octopus's Garden, where students will put on skits for your enjoyment, and you can buy lots of hors d'oeuvres to support our school and trips. So be there, sad and lonely. Your choice! This has been The Moves. See you next time. Yeah!